What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new episode of Mutt Tips. I am your host, Sean Taylor from the Made Up Theater, and let's jump into today's topic, why do improv? So most people, when they see an improv class advertised on a website or a billboard or a newspaper, generally they don't know what to expect with it. Like if you see a guitar playing class, you know what to expect. Oh, I'm gonna learn how to play the guitar by playing the guitar. An improv class, yeah, you're gonna learn how to improvise, but you don't know how you're gonna do that, right? You don't know what to expect, and it's a little bit nerve wracking, and it can sometimes put people off from actually taking an improv class. But I'm here to tell you a little bit about the expectations in an improv class. So the first thing I notice when I'm teaching a beginning improv class is just a big mix of different people, different people from different backgrounds, and they all have different reasons for taking an improv class. It's not just people who are learning how to be funny or learning how to be comedians or actors who are learning a new technique to improve their acting ability. It's usually people who like have different reasons that reflect their own need for personal growth in their life. And the thing they all share in common generally is they're all nervous, right? Again, those expectations, they don't know what's going to happen in an improv class. They're afraid they're gonna be pushed on stage and be told, hey, make stuff up right now, go, be funny, you know? Those are the expectations that people feel when they enter an improv class. And I wanna kinda like tell you a little bit about what an improv class is like on the first day. So the first day of an improv class, especially here at Made Up Theater, is really chill and it's even relaxing at times because our jobs as teachers is to relieve that stress and that anxiety that might be inside of you. And we wanna make you feel comfortable. So we generally start improv classes with what are called warm-up games. And these games are aimed at kind of getting you uh, to bond with your group, have fun, and just kind of get rid of the jitters that might be inside of you. They're also aimed at teaching specific concepts of improvisation in a fun and sometimes silly way. So, you know, certain games might be aimed at getting you outside of your head and going at a quick pace to the point where you're not thinking so much. And certain games are aimed at, you know, practicing failure and making mistakes and being okay with those. We're playing fun games and there's no judgment, it's a supportive environment, and ultimately they're building blocks to the point where you can actually get up on stage without that safety net and improvise comfortably. So now that you know a little bit about the expectations of taking an improv class, why do improv? What is the reason to take an improv class? What are the benefits? Everybody has their own unique take on it. I'm gonna tell you my takeaways from improv, and that's I got outside of my head, I learned acceptance, and I overcame my shyness. So the first thing is it helped me get outside of my head. I'm a very internalized person. I'm in my head a lot. I overthink things and I plan stuff out. In improv, we get you outside of your head because if you're in your head, you are not present in the moment with us. And that's a big benefit in life. You start to listen more because you're not stuck in your own head thinking about what you're gonna say next and you actually get to actively participate in conversations, activities, and just life in general. So getting outside of your head is a huge benefit to improvisation. Another big benefit I got from learning improv is acceptance, which is just saying yes to ideas that are presented to me. There was a lot of time in my life where I said no to stuff that I shouldn't have said no to. You know, opportunities or just ideas from my, my friends, you know? Sometimes they would be like, oh, what do you want to do tonight? And I'll be like, oh, I don't know. And they might give an idea and say, oh, do you want to go like play miniature golf? And I'll be like, eh, no, that doesn't sound fun. It sounds kind of lame. Or do you like, do you want to go to a bar? No, I don't like that either. And I'm just denying ideas and saying no, as opposed to just going with an idea and seeing where it leads. Going to miniature golf could bring me somewhere else. You know, maybe we meet an interesting character there that it impacts my life, instead of just sitting at home and just denying ideas. So saying yes is something that has, you know, allowed me to really escape my own head and like stop like, over analyzing certain things. I don't wanna do this because of this. Why not? I'm not, that may not happen. I, I should just go with the flow. And then probably go with the flow and say yes to each other's ideas and it's really impactful in life. And perhaps the biggest benefit I got out of improv is I overcame my shyness. I am a very shy person. I'm super introverted. And if you know me, you'll see that in me. But back in the day, in junior high, I was so shy, I literally would go days without talking to people. At school, I generally didn't talk to anybody. I didn't have friends. I had a hard time communicating. And, you know, it was difficult for me to go through life that way. Because in elementary school, I had friends, but I got transferred to a junior high where all my friends didn't go. So throughout those years, I had a hard time growing as a person because I wasn't communicating effectively with people. But then I got to college and I took an improv class. And in improv, you're taught to make your choices because they're gonna be accepted by others. I was afraid of being rejected or not validated, but my choices and my ideas were suddenly being validated on stage and I was able to gain confidence and come out of my shell. 
You know, shy people, it's mostly a confidence issue. They don't have the confidence to communicate or do things and thus it makes them more shy. But in improv, we give you that confidence because the choices that you make are great. We treat them as great. So if you're a shy person, you might be thinking, I don't wanna take improv because I'm shy. It's not gonna work. But as improv teachers, we're gonna get that shyness out of your body and we're going to inject confidence into you. Like as a shy person, I'm, I'm the shyest person you will ever meet. I'm gonna say improv is going to benefit you in the long run, big time. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this episode of Mutt Tips. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like down below or comment with a question you would like addressed in the future or share the video with someone who maybe is thinking of taking improv, but they need a little swing. Feel free to do that. Follow us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube because we've got a lot of exciting news coming up, especially since we're gonna be moving to a new location in the summer. We're about to announce it. We're getting close to announcing the date as well as the location. Thank you everybody. I'll see you next week for another episode of Mutt Tips. Bye.